Hey y'all, how you doing? As you can see, this channel is slowly turning into a smartwatch channel, which is great. That's why I want to test all kinds of smartwatch for you. Fitbit, Samsung, Fossil, you name it. But not all of you want to buy a 300 plus smartwatch. That's why I want to test at least every once in a while one of the cheaper smartwatches that I find on Amazon and see if they're any good. Now, this time we will talk about the Let's Fit smartwatch with the ID 205S. I found this one of course on Amazon and it cost me about 30 euros which is very cheap for a smartwatch. Now before we start to get into some details, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you like my content. It only takes two clicks and it's for free. Now let's get started. First off, what do we get for 30 bucks? Actually we get more than I thought. So we get to choose between three different clock faces and I know that doesn't sound a lot but at least we get a small variety. One of them gives you the digital time and date. The second one gives you the time and date, your burn calories and your daily steps, which is the standard for most smartwatches. And the last one will give you an analog clock. Second are the health data. This feature will tell you your daily steps, your burn calories and the total amount of miles you travel a day on your smartwatch. Up to the next feature and that will be the heartbeat sensor, a feature you need on every smartwatch and I'm glad Let's Fit has it. This feature will track your heartbeat 24 hours a day and in addition to it, it will give you your highest and lowest beats per minute. Now let's get to the core of every smartwatch and that will be the exercises. The Let's Fit smartwatch will let you choose between three different exercises, running, walking and bike riding. The way you start one of these exercises is by giving it a two second press. Now you will have a little countdown and it will take you to a new screen with your miles per hour, your calories, your beats per minute, the time, your steps and so on. Now the way you track all of these stats is via the Let's Fit app and let's check that out right now. The Let's Fit app has six different tracking categories which are steps, active hours, workout minutes, calories burned, distance and sleep schedule. Now all of these stats are daily. But if you want to see your stats from yesterday or last week, you just have to go back in the calendar or just press one of these stats. If you do that, another screen will pop up and you will get to see your daily as well as your weekly and monthly stats of that category. This function applies to all of the categories. The app also synchronizes with your watch every time you open up the app to get the newest data. Now if you go further to the right, we have all your past trainings. If you click on one, it will show you all your major stats like burn calories, pace, heart rate and so on. I went for a walk with the Let's Fit and the Fossil Gen 5 and compared each other. And now what I've noticed is that the Let's Fit smartwatch is a little bit off when it comes to the amount of steps it took and the mileage. My heartbeat was a little bit higher than with the Fossil smartwatch but both watches gave me almost the exact same amount of burn calories. It also tracks your sleep schedule kind of good. Now as for the last features we got the relax feature and the stopwatch. Now in order to get to the relax feature we have to go to more and then over here on relax and actually it is something like a guided breathing session. It just basically tells you to inhale for I don't know for like two seconds and then afterwards exhale and it's like a continuous thing. The second one will be the smartwatch. Just give it two second press, tap it once and we'll start. It's a little bit laggy as you can see but shouldn't be too big of a problem. If you press it again for two seconds you will go back to the home screen. The last one will be like something about and over there you can read the model number, version etc etc. Now I told you a bunch of stuff about the Let's Fit smartwatch. And now let's get to my opinion and for me it's not a buy. And I say that for a couple of reasons. Reason number one is that you cannot connect any music apps to it. That means if you want to go for a run or a jog or anything like that and you want to listen to some music, you cannot do it. That means this smartwatch is basically useless. I once did a review about the LifeBee smartwatch and it had so many more features including music and it only cost about 10 euros more. The next thing is that we're kind of limited to only three clock faces which is kind of bad if you want to compare it to other smartwatches. And the last reason is the navigation you always have to go through all the applications just to get back to the beginning, which is kind of bad. Now folks, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you like my content. It would really help me out and see you next time.
Bye-bye. Thank you.